Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you very much for joining me today on my latest episode. As you can see from the thumbnail, looks to be like a packed show. I'm going to be talking about Dybala and all the latest fitness concerns in relation to Liverpool Football Club. Obviously Dejan Lovren, I've got the latest on his injury update. Adam Lallana, Joe Gomez and all that st good stuff really. So let's get, and obviously the Dybala news in the late a bit later on in the episode anyway but Dejan Lovren first Liverpool injury boost for Liverpool as Joe Gomez is set for full training that's Dejan Lovren and Joe Gomez are set for full training ahead of the pivotal Champions League campaign so that's exciting news Liverpool have played down concerns that the centre back could be facing a spell on the guidelines the initial progn prognosis is that it was only a muscle tightness in his leg. That is obviously Dejan Lovren. He got taken off with obviously a potential injury scare. Obviously in the last match. Clavan come on. So it's a very big concern. But that is very good to hear. Coming out of Liverpool Football Club. And obviously a bit about Joe Gomez it says. Gomez the 20 year old who is close to returning to full training nearly four weeks after he damaged ankle ligaments playing for England against the Netherlands. Gomez, who was working tirelessly to regain fitness, faces a clearing session with the rehab staff who would determine whether he's ready to rejoin the first team setup. So let me know your thoughts on that. Joe Gomez, it's, it's always the case when any Liverpool player goes to international duty but it's always the England lads that you're like come on fingers crossed they don't it always used to be the case with i.e. Adam Lallana as well he has in the past got injury where injury injured mainly when he has gone abroad to play for England so fingers crossed both of them are back fully fit as always I keep it up to date if there's any changes in terms of their fitness going to the Adam Lallana fitness update. Adam Lallana steps up Liverpool rehabilitation with the midfielder refusing to give up on season. Liverpool midfielder Adam Lallana has gone to South Africa to step, to step up his rehabilitation from a hamstring injury. Obviously, the England international has been having treatment at a sports science institution in Cape Town. Lallana could yet be involved in Liverpool's um, reach of obviously the Champions League final that is obviously in May and he's determined to prove his fitness to the Liverpool medical staff and the England medical staff in the lead up to the Russia World Cup obviously Jürgen Klopp coming out of his press conference he's got had a little quote I've got that as well it'll be he it will be close for Adam to come back Klopp said last week there is no rush it makes no sense I don't want to close the door for this season on him. How can I know that? So, obviously, that's fantastic news from Jürgen Klopp because him himself, the manager, is not giving up hope on Adam Lallana being completely ruled out because even if he does come in for one game, we've seen Adam Lallana's quality. When he did come into the first team setup, yeah, he wasn't at the highest level, but uh, uh, having a player of that quality back in the setup as well. Especially if Emery Chan looks like he's more or less out the door already, which is absolutely, frankly, ridiculous. But Adam, all you up and come back, lad, because we very much need you in that midfield. Even though the lads are doing a fantastic job, we need as many bodies in this Liverpool team going to that final. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So yeah, Adam, lot the Dejan Lovren and Joe Gomez, come on, boys, get back. But going into the last story, really. When I've been speaking to you, Dybala has been a name on everyone's lips. When I've been speaking to you on my latest video yesterday. So, and quickly to touch on my other video as well. I released that at 11am this morning. That was on, obviously, the breaking news of Trent. Go and check that out. I think it should be in one of these corners. I'll leave it there. But Dybala to Liverpool. Shock transfer could happen. Really, this is in relation to, obviously, Dybala being sent off in the quarterfinals against Real Madrid. The Juventus hierarchy are apparently unhappy. This is reports coming out from Italy, whether to be believed anyway, but we do love a good transfer rumour. But yeah, 
I'll tell you about um, Liverpool reportedly want to sign Juventus hitman Paolo Dybala on the orders of Jurgen Klopp. Dybala could leave this in the summer having endured a rocky season in Turin under Allegri. Liverpool could spend big on a blockbuster name as they hunt a replacement for Felipe Coutinho who joined Barcelona for £142 million. Just quickly on that, the money that was spent on Virgil van Dijk for me personally, as in what I'm understanding from what all the articles I'm reading, the money that was saved up for Virgil van Dijk is not obviously the Phil Coutinho money because Liverpool did save that from previous windows because we didn't go out and spend a big load of money on transfers. Plus the Naby Keita money, that has not been spent yet. So obviously with the, with the money that is coming in from Champions League revenue and all that, that is basically paid for the Naby Keita deal. So there's a huge chunk and money for me personally and a lot of use we there is a lot of money still at Liverpool Football Club for a big blockbuster signing like Dybala or whoever if it's Griezmann or anyone that who do you think would you personally want Liverpool to pursue i.e. Dybala or anyone one big transfer if Liverpool win the Champions League we we've got a very a, a huge pull because you've got Jan Klopp and a team that has just won, hopefully, fingers crossed, all going well. That's just won the Champions League. Who would not want to come to this amazing project as it is under the Jürgen Klopp? So, concluding on this story anyway, it talks about, obviously, Manchester United, Real Madrid, the big boys, obviously, being in for Dybala, but uh, Paolo Neved, obviously, the Juventus, he's an absolute legend there. He come out and got the quotes of what he's had to say in relation to all these stories, I, re- re- I reiterate that it is up to him to make the history of Juventus, he said. And if, if he wants that of football world in terms of creating history at Juventus or anyone anywhere else in world football, he has got the ability to play anywhere. Lately, I have seen him thriving and he is training very well. He can achieve everything at Juventus Football Club. I'd love not a more than Liverpool to sign Dybala because as I spoke in the video with all you yesterday was Liverpool are only one injury away from our forward line and for me if we could get a player as in Dybala is he's very much versatile which Jürgen Klopp does love to bring in like Salah we've seen with Mane and Firmino all three of them can play anywhere across the forward line on the left, right, middle and Dybala can very much do that. So, for me, if Liverpool were going to go in for him, it does make a lot of sense as well. Given his age, given his quality, that's the most important thing. Because you're bringing a player in there from, from Turin, that would very much improve what we've already got. Because for me, if you were to drop Bobby Firmino slightly deeper and play him in, in behind, obviously as like the more or less the attacking mid like he did when he was in Germany for Hoffenheim, Imagine that, a spearhead of Bobby Firmino, Naby Keita behind Firmino as well, and i.e. a possible Chamber or whoever in that midfield. And then you got <laughs> Firmino as the attacker mid, Salah, Dybala, Mane. Oh my lord, that would be absolutely naughty. But yeah, everyone, thank you very much for joining me today on my latest transfer news. And if you want to hit the subscribe button, it should be over there. Watch any other future videos as well or if you want to catch up anyway. But if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, everyone, thank you very much for the support. You're absolute legends. But if you would like to see Dybala at Liverpool Football Club, hit that like button, because for me, I'd be smashing that like button, because I would love him at Liverpool Football Club. See you later, everyone, and I'll see you very soon. Ciao.